guys, welcome to another episode of Journey to Happy Podcast. I am Olga, your host, and I am really honored to have you here listening. I wanted to remind you that for the month of January, we are exclusively uh, publishing some of the training, mindset training that I give to my Reset Your Mindset members. So what you're listening next is actually taken from one of the trainings that I give to my members. And so if it sounds like I'm talking or answering questions or or talking about things that I've said before, this is why, because I simply grabbed some of those recordings and um, in the hopes to provide you with deeper conversations in the podcast. I am sharing those with you. Although they're being edited a little bit, they are still taken from the context of my Reset Your Mindset membership, where people get one monthly training like this one, as well as a couple of other resources to, so that they can navigate the change of mindset. So I hope you enjoy this episode and I will see you in the next one. Welcome to the Journey to Happy podcast, a podcast dedicated to help you in the process of getting out of your own way and letting go of the mental barriers that have been self-created that stand on the way of you and the emotional freedom and happiness that you so desire. I am Olga, your host, and in here, I'm going to offer you raw but real examples that will help you step into the shoes of becoming the CEO of your own life. Because let's face it, in a world where you can be anyone you want, why not promote yourself to the CEO position? I cannot wait to see you inside. Hey guys, welcome to your last session of Detox of the Mind. This session is about how to stop the self-sabotager that lives inside of us. So how can we detoxify the mind from self-sabotage? I encourage you to connect with your other uh, teammates and challengers and talk to them and see if um, you can have discussions that continue to enlighten you. Otherwise, show up on a Friday for our call. Okay, so... Let me begin by asking you, what stops your progress? Stop and think that for a second. Usually, what are the things that stop your progress? When you're in a good mode to progress, what stops your progress? Think about that for a moment. When I asked this to the group on Monday, people talk about guilt, um, feelings of inadequacy, like who am I to feel this way? They... uh, share that usually is lack of motivation and what takes them to out of the motivation is really lack of planning or following through. We all agree that at the end of the day, the only thing that stops our progress is our own mind, is our mindset. It is the mindset of the self-sabotager. Now I was explaining that the way in which I schedule this training of detoxifying the mind was mindfully because you cannot get to the self-sabotage if you don't understand the anxieties underneath, if you don't understand your limiting beliefs, if you don't understand inner voice that is mean and where it's coming from. All of those are used by your self-sabotage to stop you from moving forward. So what's, what's behind the anxiety, the poor or the inner talk that is um, diminishing and mean, and um, the expectations is your self-sabotage, which is its main purpose is to uh, not make you feel good, not make you progress, because as crazy as it is, we're far more uh, uncomfortable in a place of greatness than we are in a place of suffering. So when you're when you're having a good moment, we briefly talked about this in our last week's session, where we're in the middle of a good moment and we're enjoying this moment and we notice that we're doing well, immediately we co-create a moment of conflict so that we're out of it. 
And so this brings me down to this, down the, the path of self-sabotage. What happens where we self-sabotage? Typically, we become uncomfortable with things doing well. We tell ourselves a story and we believe it. We're full of limiting beliefs, beliefs that say you can have it all. You can be loved and wealthy and healthy and happy. Something's going to give. That's a belief that is limiting. So I'm going to encourage you guys to really pay attention to your current limiting beliefs. I want you to look at all four areas of your life, relationships, your relationship with your body, your relationship with your job, your relationship with uh, career, with, you, with, with all areas of your life. And I want you to pay attention to what feels heavy right now. And if it, if it feels heavy and not flowy, I want you to pay attention to what limiting beliefs do you have around that area of your life. The self-sabotage stop us from having a clear vision of what we want. And without a clear vision, how do you know where you're going? How do you know what steps you need to take? Many of us don't even dream of stopping and imagining the life that we want, that we would really love to, because we don't believe it's possible. So if you're going to take something out of this one session, is that you can reframe your beliefs. You can notice which of your beliefs are limiting. Are you being the kind of partner that your ideal man will want to have? Because maybe you know exactly what the ideal man would look like, what he would be like. But are you being that girl that that ideal man will be in love with? How do you show up to be that? Do you believe you have it in you? If not, there's going to be a gap. There's a gap between what you want and how you're presenting into your own life to get that. And, and uh, you want to be paying attention to when you do have a plan. Okay, I know where I want to go. I know I want to go to whatever, this place. Uh, I know what I need to go to get there. And then comes the self-sabotage thoughts and behaviors. You don't need to subscribe to any thought that you don't believe is powerful or hopeful or helpful to you. Hi, friend. I am interrupting you. Uh, you're listening here just for a moment because I want you to hear firsthand about my membership reset. Many moons ago, I was searching for a person to work with. Not a therapist, not a teacher, but someone down to earth that wouldn't preach or look at me with pity and hold my hand and tell me everything was going to be okay. Nope, I wanted somebody who would challenge me and keep me accountable, but who would also normalize whatever my mind was going through. I knew I really enjoyed reading books about personal growth, and I dreamt of having a life coach all of my own, but at the time, I didn't have the resources to afford one. I also knew that I could reach higher potential everywhere in my life if only I had somebody who could show me the how to get there, who could point at the blockages in my own thinking, who could show me how I was self-sabotaging and the how to get out of that. And that, my friends, is why I created Reset. Reset is a membership that actually gives the members exactly what I was looking for. A therapist, coach, life coach, mindset coach, all at easy access, all in one place. So this membership gives you access to monthly mindset trainings, like the ones you're listening in the month of January here. And it also gives you the opportunity to work at your own pace through a workbook that I personally create as I create the videos. And you have access to me Monday to Friday on a private Facebook group where sometimes I go live to answer questions, as well as you get a one hour call with other members for office hours. So whatever you're working through, you can call live and ask me questions. You can also su submit them anonymously if you are not much of a crowd person. And so 
really reset is a membership that takes away the pressures of doing therapy if you don't need it, but keeps you in the loop of doing work on areas that are really important to you. The membership focuses on four pillars, the mind, the heart, self-care, and the body. So each month I rotate through one of these pillars and the video and the conversations and the journaling prompts are all about that one thing. If this sounds exciting to you, here's the best part. All of that you get for $97 a month. You guys, $97 a month. Way cheaper than a therapist, way cheaper than a life coach. And it gives you so much support each and every month that you remember. If this speaks to you, head over to the show notes and you can sign up today. That's the beauty. You can sign up at any given point. The commitment is three months. You have to be with us for minimum three months because I know you care about transformation. And let's be honest, it takes time to change the way we think. So give yourself minimum three months, but I hope for you to stay longer and I hope to see you inside. Limiting beliefs come and get the best out of you. They're fear-based. They don't make you feel expansive, confident. They come and take your confidence away. They make you think of all the reasons why it wouldn't work. They take from you. That's so you can catch a limiting belief. It stops you. It makes you want to freeze. It's very related to the anxiety. In fact, they give us anxiety, these limiting beliefs. So not, definitely not good for us. How to then subscribe to beliefs that are more powerful. I want you to think of your mind as a YouTube channel. What channels do you subscribe to? The ones that bring you self-doubt and make you feel small or the ones that make you feel great? Somebody in the comment Monday brought us back to some words that were said by Nelson Mandela in one of his speeches, but they don't belong to him. He quoted somebody else. And he was saying that we are terrified of our own greatness, of shining our light into the world. And I reminded the group that by doing that, by you not shining your own light for you, you also deprive the rest of the world from your gifts. When you came into this world to fully embody, to be that. Imagine, I was giving the example, imagine if I had... <laughs> believe my limiting beliefs that I must have a PhD before I could open my studio, before I could help people. I will still be in school. And I can tell you there has been hundreds upon hundreds of people that have come through the doors of Olga's way since I opened my studio. So I will still be there, not doing it, not moving, procrastination. Procrastination is what we do to not be here, to not be in the present, to not show up with greatness and like own our gifts and say, Mind of self-sabotage, I see you and you will not stop me. I'm going to stand here and I'm going to make a statement, a new statement. So I want you to repeat with me. I give myself permission to be happy, healthy, wealthy, and loved from this day forward. Amen. Write these words and repeat them like they are your job. Give yourself permission. Give yourself permission to remove the barriers that stop you from being loved, from being healthy, from being wealthy. You can do it. The only thing that stands in the way of you and those things that we just mentioned, it's you. It's beliefs that you have created. Could be something somebody told you that you've made it, your belief. It's in your belief system. So it's totally worth it to pay attention to write down your beliefs. Again, what feels heavy in your life right now? And write down all the thoughts you have about that particular area of your life. And identify which of those mark a belief. For example, I believe in equality of rights. So you bet that that comes across in all areas of my life. I want to be fair. I try to balance things out. I treat everybody with respect. I don't believe I'm better or worse than anyone. Why? Because I have that core belief. But I may also have a core belief that says, 
there's something faulty with me and I'm not deserving of love of, of being loved. And that is also going to come across in all interactions and friendships and relationships. So I want you to think of those limiting beliefs. And then I want you to think, how else could I think of this? How could I reframe this thought? So I want you to ask yourself the questions, how can I begin to expand my tolerance for being loved, for being respected, for being happy? How can I begin to grow that tolerance? How can I make that be more expansive, feel more expansive? How can I make this area of life that right now feels heavy, feel light and easy? Because it's possible. It is in your mind. It's your mindset. Your mindset can be limiting, like it can also be full of opportunity, opportunity for growth. The amount of work is the same. So you choose. What do you want to feel and how do you get there? Now what? Now that I've discovered a limiting belief I have, am I going to let it define me? Or am I going to put in the passenger seat? I am the driver. I get to drive my mind. What are these core beliefs? So these, this really summarizes the self-sabotage. The mind, the part of your mind that is invested in thinking and making you believe that you, somehow you are not enough. You are not capable. How can you begin to recognize where are you getting stuck? And it's always in your thoughts. Recognize them, write them down, know them. Know them like the palm of your hand, like you know your name is, whatever your name is. You want to recognize these limiting beliefs. And then you, I want you to make it your purpose to subscribe to new beliefs. Some that will let you expand, that make you feel light. Um... I hope this is essentially all I said in the call yesterday. Of course, it's a lot shorter here uh, because we don't have the interactions with other people. The discussions were very, very enlightening. I think that we had um, people ask questions with regards to uh, how to change limiting beliefs if, if we were not aware of them. If you're not aware of them, you cannot, right? So it's beginning to notice that awareness. And then you get to choose. The, beauty, the beautiful part about creating awareness is that we also, it, with it comes power, the power of choice. Now that I know this is a limiting belief, what am I going to do? And these are all very personal mm subjects like our relationship with money is very personal our relationship with our health is very personal so it's important to challenge the mind and see how what beliefs do i have about money what beliefs do i have about health about love oh what influenced those beliefs where do they come from why do i where do i where did i create this personal belief and how can i begin to change it and let go of the things that no longer serve me so mindset comes down specifically to create a new set of beliefs and thoughts that allow us the opportunity for growth versus staying stuck in one place. That's what the self-sabotage is about. It takes advantage of our anxieties. It takes advantage of the fear that we naturally already have, and it changes our attitude makes us be a victim of our story versus versus helping us create a new story rewrite this story you have that power i want you to write it i want you to say these words like you said them here at love today all the time i give myself permission the moment you give yourself permission the moment you audit those words the moment you say them and you hear them and this is all you've been looking for your own permission get out of the way Get out of the way. You, I, I know I can say you deserve to be happy and that's going to go in one ear and out the other. So forget about what you deserve. What do you want? And if you truly want it, get out of the way. Get out of the way because great things are coming and you're going to grow your tolerance to endure those great things. I'm very passionate about this. I hope that this speaks to you as well. From here, I'm going to let you go. I hope to see you guys on Friday. I sincerely want to talk to you and answer any questions, especially if you missed the live class. 
And since you're getting this video, please, please, please show up. Ask me to touch, to touch back in any of these points that I talked about. And uh, guide your self-reflection by what does usually stop you from progress? Is it excuses? Is it comparison? Is it guilt? What stops you? And how can you go around that, about that? How can you step away from that pattern? Okay, sending much, much love and uh, talk to you guys on Friday.